We turn now to New Taipei's Sanchong District, where a construction project caused two apartment buildings to tilt earlier this week. After two nights sleeping at a hotel, residents have been given the green light to return home. After a series of assessments carried out by three different engineering and architecture associations, authorities have determined that the buildings are safe and habitable. Some residents have already returned home and report that the tilting have left them with uneven floors and doors that no longer close shut. Others haven't been so brave, despite the assurance from experts that the apartments are safe. The residents of the tilted buildings were finally allowed to return home after sleeping two nights in a hotel. We plan to do some tests ourselves, such as rolling a ball or a water bottle on the floor. The main thing is that tonight we'll be approaching the government, technicians and lawyers to discuss matters related to the rights and interests of residents. On Wednesday night, the Disaster Response Center held a meeting with officials from the New Taipei Public Works Department and Social Welfare Department, as well as local residents. Experts from the New Taipei City Professional Civil Engineers Association presented the results of their evaluation and concluded that the tilting of the buildings was within legal standards, meaning residents would be allowed to return to live in their homes. After interpreting the data collected by three associations, we determined that both buildings are habitable in their entirety. We also submitted a detailed report to the Emergency Response Center. After an assessment by the center, it was decided that residents would be allowed to return home today. The Civil Engineers Association says that although from the outside the two buildings affected are tilting, the degree of the angle is within permissible levels. Residents back in their homes say they can tell the floor is no longer flat. At this home, a metal bowl put on the ground does not remain steady, and the door to the bathroom doesn't close anymore. <laughs> Only some of the older residents have returned. The younger ones haven't come back because they're afraid. I had no choice but to come back and see what I can do about it. I haven't been home in several days, so being here, I can see where the damage is. Though the results of the assessment say the buildings are habitable, some residents are afraid of going back. With the tilting so apparent to the naked eye, it's hard to feel at ease in the buildings. <laughs> As for residents who may have problems with the living spaces or those who have any concerns, the developer will offer them detailed explanations and compensation. Technicians specializing in civil engineering, architecture and structures have assured residents that the buildings are safe, but it remains to be seen whether residents feel that way too.